me out of it. It's no use, I tell you. I've made up my mind. But he's still your husband. Yeah, well, he won't be for long. I hate him, I tell you, I hate him. But you loved him once. Yeah, what did I know about love? He's just a young kid full of romantic ideas. And he comes along and feeds me all that stuff about spend the rest of my life living like a queen. And I believed him. Oh, you don't know what it's been like living with a man like that all these years. Every time he kisses me, I get violently sick inside. <laughs> oh, it's no use, I tell you. I've got to get rid of him. But you can't resort to murder. It's the only way out. <laughs> I'm killing him tonight. <laughs> oh, you wonderful, Alice. You know the lights perfectly. Oh, you're going to be great in the play. <laughs> oh, thanks, Trixie. I just hope I'll be as good as you are. Oh, you'll be wonderful. Just wait till Ralph sees you up on that stage. Hey, you haven't told him about it yet, have you? No, Ralph would be furious. Even though the club is doing this thing for charity, Ralph hates to see me get up on a stage. He says I, you know, have no talent and I embarrass him. When he sees you on that stage and you're a hit, he'll feel differently. You know, I haven't told Ed that I'm in this play either because I was afraid he would tell Ralph. Oh, these husbands are all alike. They I never know. think that you can do anything. Well, and when those two... Oh, excuse me. Yeah. Come in. Here's the medicine from the drugstore. Oh, thanks, honey. Wait a minute, I'll give you a tip. I don't have any change. Um, here, how about a banana? No, thanks. I'm not a monkey. <laughs> well, how about a nice tangerine? No, thanks. What's the matter? Don't you like fruit? No, it ain't that. See, everywhere I go, though, I never get money anymore. Uh, they always offer me grapes and pears and apples and tangerines. If this keeps up, I'll have to trade in my bicycle for a push cart. <laughs> hey, Alice, what's this medicine for? Oh, this isn't medicine. These are vitamin pills for Ralph. Oh. The doctor said it'd be good for him, and, well, you know what a baby Ralph is. Yeah. So I decided tonight I'll just drop one in his tomato juice and send him home for dinner. <laughs> Alice, do you think we ought to rehearse those lines just once more? You know something? That'd be a very good idea. Yeah, but Trixie. Today I've been so busy rehearsing the lines and getting dinner ready, I haven't even made up the bed yet. Come on in the bedroom with me. We'll run over the lines while I'm straightening up. Okay. Great. Now, don't try to talk me out. It's no use, I tell you. I've made up my mind. But he's still your husband. Yeah? Well, he won't be much longer. I hate him, I tell you. I hate, 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 hate him. But you loved him once. Yeah. What did I know of love? I was just a young kid with romantic ideas. So he fed me all that stuff about spending the rest of my life like a queen, and I believe it. Well, you don't know what it's like living with a man like that all these years. Every time he kisses me, I get violently sick inside. <laughs> <laughs> I've made up my mind. I've got to get rid of him. Oh, but you couldn't resort to murder. That's my only way out. <laughs> I'm killing him tonight. Alice, does your mother know about this? Well, when I told her about it, she was all for it. <laughs> How about the old lady being all for it? One of these days, one of these days. Pow! Right there. <laughs> Don't let on we know anything about what they just said. We'll make believe we just walked in here. I'm gonna handle this my own way. Shut the door. Alice, it's me. I'm home. Oh, hello, Ralph. Hi, Ed. Hi, Alice. <laughs> Gee, I'm glad you're home early, honey. I fixed you a wonderful dinner. Everything you like. Roast beef, mashed potatoes, apple pie. I hope you're hungry. <laughs> I was, but I sort of lost my appetite. I guess I'll go up and fix dinner. Oh, wait a minute, Trixie, I'll go with you. I want to borrow your carving knife. Sure. <laughs> Did you hear that, pal? Yeah. She wants to borrow a carving knife. I never thought I'd end up a blue plate special. <laughs> Get a load of the meal she's got ready for me. Roast beef, mashed potatoes, apple pie. I'm wise to her. She's trying to fatten me up so I'll be a better target. <laughs> and the condemned man ate a hearty meal. Will you shut up? <laughs> what is she doing this for? I've been a perfect husband all my life. I know I haven't made a, enough money to take her to nightclubs and buy her fancy clothes and all of that. But I've been a perfect husband. Why should she want to do this all of a sudden? Yeah, you'd think she'd done it years ago. <laughs> Did you hear what she said about her never loving me? Like when we were first married, she couldn't wait till I got home from work. She was always waiting with my slippers, my pipe, my paper. Waiting at the door, huh? At the door? <laughs> Down by the subway. 
You know, of all the things she said, the one thing that got me right here was when she said whenever I kissed her, she got violently sick. How do you feel when she kisses you? Oh, I'm still in love with her. Ed, I'm still in love with her. When I kiss her, I get weak, knees tremble, I break out in a sweat. How do you like that? She makes you sick too, huh? <laughs> Let me tell you something. You never can tell about marriages, Ralph. Take my brother Willie, for instance. He got married. It was beautiful at first. Beautiful. Just like it is with all newlyweds, you know. Then, as the newness of the marriage wore off, and they got into the routine, they didn't like each other. Matter of fact, as time went on, they couldn't stand aside of each other. How long were they married? Four days. <laughs> Norton, you're a mental case. <laughs> well, I ain't taking this laying down, see? I'm not taking it laying down. I'm not going to commit suicide over this. <laughs> oh, that's what she'd like me to do, to commit suicide. I kill myself before I commit suicide. <laughs> oh, I think I hear Alice coming down the stairs now. All right, don't crack that we know anything. I want to handle this my way. Sorry I was so long, honey. Sit down, dinner will be right on the table. Uh, <laughs> uh Norton, uh... I think you better run along upstairs. I'd like to have a talk with my wife alone. Yeah. See you tomorrow, Ralph. I hope. <laughs> I'll be with you in a minute, honey. Alice, this might come as news to you, but I'm in... On to your entire game! What do you mean? Done with that. Look out. You know what I mean. I heard you in the bedroom with Trixie. I heard you. I'll hate him. I hate him. I'll kill him. Listen, Ralph. I know how you feel. But I've been in a mental rut lately. Everything gets so dull. And you've got to understand, Ralph, this is something that I have always wanted to do. <laughs> I suppose your mother likes it, too, huh? Well, as a matter of fact, it was my mother's idea. <laughs> what does your father think of that idea? Oh, he likes it. He said he'd like to buy tickets and see it. <laughs> He did, huh? Yeah, all my relatives are excited about it. My sister may even come in from Pittsburgh. <laughs> You're pretty cool about this whole thing, aren't you? I suppose you'll go out and celebrate when it's over. Well, as a matter of fact, my friends are giving a cocktail party for me. What? <laughs> well, that did it, I'm leaving. Now, listen, Ralph, you just sit down and calm down. Leave me alone. Oh, come on, it's not that important. You're getting all excited. Sit down here. <laughs> 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 you put in that tomato juice? A vitamin pill. A vitamin pill? A vitamin pill? You got the gall to tell me that was a vitamin pill? After I heard you in the bedroom with Trixie, planning to kill me, going upstairs for a carbonite, and just because I didn't give you the chance to use it, now you're trying to poison me and tell me that that's a vitamin pill? You ought to be ashamed of yourself. So that's... Yeah, that's it! All right. All right, Ralph. That is poison in there. And if I can't kill you, I'm going to kill myself. Wait a minute!
since I've been married to you, I'm going to beat you up. <laughs> oh, no, you're not, Ralph. Oh, I'm not, huh? No, you're not, because you love me. I'm everything in the world to you. Yeah? Who said that? You said that just a minute ago when you thought I'd taken the poison. Oh, I did, did I? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> well, I do. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 